Hey everybody, we're at Bard Island Preserve today in Deer Isle, Maine, and this is the, one of the most beautiful places we have ever been, so stay tuned. Woo! Baby, daddy, baby, daddy. <laughs> Awkward. Hey everybody, it's Jeff here, and this is Fun Size Adventures, which is our family vlog all about getting outdoors and active as a family, whether that's in our own backyard or going out on adventures. Today, we're on the island of Deer Isle, which is just off the coast of Maine. You can drive here in a car, but we're going for a hike at the Bard Island Preserve, which takes us through this really cool looking forest, as you can see, with all the moss and the trees. And it's going to take us to the coast where there is a sandbar that's only there at low tide where you can cross to this little island. It should be really fun and worth checking out, so stay tuned. We're not even to the coast yet, and so far, whoop, gotta watch where I'm going. Lots of roots. This trail has not disappointed. It's been really cool. This the forest that it's going through with all the moss, all the roots. Really looks like something out of a movie. And that should only get better once we do make it to the coast. And we've had a really warm spell the past few days. Melted all the snow. Last week, this probably would still be packed to ice. But finally, finally, spring is arriving. And we're gonna be able to do so much more fun stuff outside. It's so exciting. I'll show you what you do when you don't want to wear it anymore. Take your arms, like this. Put your arms up, put your hands up. There you go. You take it, you tie a knot, tie it again. There you go. Hey, Cal. Cal. Calvin. Cal, where are you going to leave your stick today? Uh, nowhere. <laughs> hey, do you know how you get to the other side? You cross it. He butchered that joke so bad. Yeah. All right, we're gonna consult the map because Cal's asking how much further. No, I said how much. Thank goodness how many for a GPS hours. here. I said how many All right. hours? There is where we started. Honey, yeah, it looks like it's about we're about half, a little more than halfway down. Can you hear? You guys hear that sound? I wonder if that is a ship out in the harbor. Oh. We're heading back downhill, so that must mean we're heading down to the shore. This is so cool looking. It's like a giant pillow forest. You could just like take a nap in there. Oh. Yeah, good job. All right, now walk down this rock to this side. It's lower. And then go, and then walk back this way. And then go, and then walk back this way, and then go, and then you're down. Good job. We've opted to go the Bar Island way because it should be a little bit shorter. And according to all trails, this whole trail as a there and back should be about two and a half miles, which is a little bit farther than, than some of the other ones we've done. But hopefully the warmer weather makes that possible. And like always, we have our lunch for the halfway point so we can take a break. But we're opening up to the ocean. It's a little bit foggy out there though. You can hear the waves crashing on the shore, so we gotta be close. And we're going down this narrow trail into the dark forest. No, it's the lost forest. The lost forest? Yeah. Well, if it is the lost forest, we found it, so. Score! We found it. Yeah! An actual sandy beach. Yeah, you wanna use the rope? Come on, bud, bud. Grr, 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 grr. Ready, and whoa, watch out for that water. Probably slippy, whoa. Now I fall. <laughs> yeah, so I'd say that was worth the hike. It is 12.59, so the tide is still going out slightly in for another hour. But see that? That's Bard Island there, and that strip of beach in between it is what 
disappears when it's high tide. So if we go over to that beach there, or you over there, there'll be a beach on the other side too. Oh my goodness. Just got water in my shoe. <laughs> the wave got me. So this is a place that I've heard a lot of good things about, but never been here before. It's about an hour away from our house, so about the farthest distance that we'd like to drive for a normal day adventure, especially on a day where we've got other things to do. But this was definitely worth it. No, we gotta go to church later tonight after we navigate this lunar landscape. All right. I don't know which way is easy. It's probably to keep going up this way. So when the tide comes in, this is all underwater. Because the tide probably goes right up to where the rocks change color there. See how they're like dark and then they get light. That's probably like the highest of high tides. We don't need to necessarily go around the island because that's going to be more of rock jumping like that, which seems like a little bit too much for Eli and me and you. My y'all, what are you doing down there? Snails. <laughs> I can't stick a snail back on. Cal keeps dressing himself and putting somebody else's pants on him that are way too short. <laughs> and it's both embarrassing and entertaining. It is. I'm like so crying. So, they're perfect conditions to fly the drone today. I was so excited. It's not really windy. It's so beautiful here. You can connect your remote controller to your phone uses a screen in two ways. One of them's with a cord, which is what I normally do, and the other one's with a Wi-Fi. And I forgot the cord because I took it out to put it in my new car because I needed a iPhone cord in my new car and I forgot to put it back. The Wi-Fi connectivity is telling me I don't know the password even though I know what it is it's just telling me it's wrong so <sighs> that's disappointing but you know what it's still a beautiful day here we'll get some shots with the old GoPro and it'll be great and the important thing is that we're out here with the family having a great time on this beautiful day. We can get sidetracked with all this stuff and yeah it would have made the video nicer for you guys but it's still beautiful here in person and yeah so we're gonna have fun exploring around here on the beach make sure you like this video subscribe if you're not already so until next time you get outside and have a fun side adventure of your own where did you set it down right over up near there <sighs> we just had to backtrack again because somebody left their walking stick behind Maybe someday we won't have to do a hike twice because we'll actually get back to the car and realize we have the walking stick. But we didn't see any airplane too, but I found this pretty rock at the beach. Is Ooh. it precious to you? Yeah, my precious.